Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're dreaming even bigger. We're diving into the world of the ultra-rich, the kind of people who make it rain with $100 bills. We're talking about the 0.0001% because we're counting down the top 10 people most likely to reach trillionaire status. That's right, 10 figures. Stick around till the end to see who tops the list. But before we continue, if you like this video, please remember to share it with your friends, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and then watch some more of our videos. First up, we got the guy who's trying to get us all to Mars, Elon Musk. You know him, you might love him, you might think he tweets too much, but you gotta respect the hustle. This dude is the definition of a visionary. We're talking Tesla, revolutionizing the electric car game, making electric cars cool, then there's SpaceX, because launching rockets into space wasn't enough, he's trying to colonize Mars, and let's not forget about his other ventures like Neuralink, trying to literally link our brains to computers. Love him, or hate him, you can't deny Elon's ambition, and that kind of drive that I'm gonna put a man on Mars energy, that's the kind of stuff that makes trillionaires. Imagine, you're sitting on a rocket, blasting off to Mars, and who's sitting next to you sipping on some space-age juice box? Trillionaire Elon Musk. But it's not just about the rockets and the electric cars, Elon's out there building the future and people are buying into that vision. Next up we have the guy who can get you anything from a toothbrush to a life-size T-Rex delivered to your doorstep by tomorrow, Jeff Bezos. We all know Amazon, it's where we go to buy everything. Seriously, I once bought a year's supply of mayonnaise off Amazon at 3am but Amazon is just the tip of the Bezos iceberg. This guy's got his fingers in everything. He owns the Washington Post, he's investing in all sorts of crazy startups, and he's got his own space company, Blue Origin. Bezos is like the ultimate entrepreneur, he took an idea, selling books online, and turned it into a global empire. And he's not slowing down, he's constantly innovating, constantly expanding, constantly looking for the next big thing. And that's the thing about these trillion dollar contenders, they're never satisfied with the status quo. Now let's talk about a guy who knows how to live the good life. Bernard Arnault, the man behind LVMH, the biggest luxury goods company in the world. We're talking Louis Vuitton, Dior, Givenchy, Moet, and Chandon. The list goes on and on. If you want to feel fancy, Arnault's probably got a brand for that. This guy understands the power of luxury, of exclusivity, of making people feel like they're part of something special. And that's a powerful thing, especially in a world where everyone's trying to stand out. Think about it, people drop thousands, tens of thousands, sometimes even hundreds of thousands of dollars on a handbag, a watch, a bottle of champagne. Why? Because it makes them feel good. He understands that true luxury is about more than just the product, it's about the experience, the feeling, the story. Next up we have the OG Tech Titan, the man who brought us Windows Microsoft Office and the blue screen of death, we forgive you Bill, Bill Gates. Now Bill's been at the top of the rich list for what feels like forever. He's made his billions, he's bought his mega mansions and now he's using his wealth to make the world a better place. Through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation he's tackling some of the world's biggest problems like poverty, disease and climate change. Talk about a legacy. This guy's not just trying to make a trillion dollars, he's trying to solve world hunger, cure diseases and save the planet. They can fund research, support charities and influence policy in a way that most of us can only dream of. Hold up, we're not done with the tech giants yet. Next up is Mark Zuckerberg, the man who created Facebook, now Meta, and is trying to drag us all into the metaverse, whether we like it or not. Love him or hate him, you can't deny Zuck's impact. He created a platform that connects billions of people around the world. Sure, it's got its problems, but Facebook or Meta, whatever he's calling it these days, is a force to be reckoned with. And now, he's betting big on the metaverse, this immersive digital world where we can work, play, and socialize. Is it the future? Who knows? But one thing's for sure, if Zuck's right and the metaverse takes off, he's gonna be sitting on a gold mine. Imagine owning a piece of the digital world, charging rent for virtual real estate, selling virtual clothes and cars. Now, let's talk about a guy who's made his fortune the old-fashioned way through smart investments. Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha. This guy's a legend. He's been investing since he was a kid, 
and he's turned Berkshire Hathaway into one of the most successful holding companies in the world. He's got a knack for picking winners, for seeing the potential in companies that others overlook. Buffett's philosophy is all about patience, discipline, and long-term thinking. He doesn't chase fads or get caught up in hype. He invests in companies he believes in, companies with solid fundamentals, and he holds on to them for the long haul. It's a strategy that's made him billions and earned him the respect of investors around the world. Hold on tight, we're going back to the world of tech with Larry Page, the co-founder of Google. I mean, come on, it's Google. They practically own the internet. Search, advertising, maps, email, self-driving cars, you name it, Google's probably got a hand in it. Page is a visionary, a true innovator who saw the potential of the internet before most people even knew what it was. And he's not afraid to take risks. From Google Glass to self-driving cars, Page is always pushing the boundaries, and that's what it takes to be a trillionaire, that willingness to take risks, to think outside the box, to bet on yourself and your vision. Right alongside Larry Page, we have Sergey Brin, the other half of the Google Brain Trust. Together, these two created an empire, a company that's so ubiquitous it's become a verb. We don't search the internet anymore, we Google it. Bryn's brilliance lies in his ability to understand complex algorithms, to organize the world's information and make it accessible to everyone. And like Page, Bryn is always looking to the future. He's involved in all sorts of cutting-edge projects, from artificial intelligence to renewable energy. Next up, we have another Microsoft alum, the high-energy chair-throwing Steve Ballmer. He might not have founded Microsoft, but he sure as heck put his stamp on the company during his time as CEO. And when he decided to step down from the tech world, did he retire to a life of luxury? Nope, he bought the LA Clippers. Because why not? When you're a multi-billionaire, you can do whatever you want. Ballmer's a prime example of someone who's achieved success in multiple fields. He's conquered the tech world and now he's taking on the NBA. Last but not least, we have Mukesh Ambani, the richest man in Asia and the driving force behind Reliance Industries. This guy's got his hands in everything, from oil and gas to telecom to retail. Ambani's story is particularly inspiring because he built his fortune in a developing country, proving that you don't have to be from Silicon Valley to achieve incredible success. He's a testament to the power of hard work, determination, and a little bit of luck. Well, there you have it, the top 10 people most likely to become trillionaires. These are the innovators, the disruptors, the visionaries who are shaping the future. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and watch more of our great videos. Let us know in the comments who you think will be the first trillionaire. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.